Good morning, it's Miss Mick here, and I want to share um, some stories with you about um, Native Americans, uh, which is the um, celebration for the month of November um, in the United States is National Native American Month. And then um, the upcoming Thanksgiving holiday is also known as a National Day of Mourning, the 50th anniversary of the National Day of Mourning and of the American Indian occupation of Plymouth Rock. Um, so that is just some things that I want to share with you this morning. So first I wanna share this book called This Land is My Land by George Little Child. Okay, and it's actually um, different short stories with uh, paintings. So the first one I want to share is Monty the and Indian Chief. Okay. So this picture brings you face to face with two different cultures. The Monty is a Royal Canadian Mounted Policeman sent by the Queen of England and the Government of Canada to enforce the law of the Europeans. The chief is a leader of the Plains Cree. He is protecting our people and our way of life. But our way of life was being destroyed. The white men were taking more and more of our land. They put us onto reserves which were just little pieces of the territory we used to have, and we couldn't come or go without their permission. My ancestors must have cried much as they became prisoners of their own land. So that is the story um, from Canada, which is north, north of Ohio and north of the United States. So we are remembering that story during the month of November. I also want to share a, the, another story from this collection. Give thanks to the grandmothers. Can you see the Native American grandmothers? I have a fear of mountains. I'm scared of closed in spaces. Like those spaces in between the mountains because I grew up on the plains where it's flat. When I first came to Vancouver, I had to drive through the mountains for 12 hours. That's a long time, 12 hours, can you see? My understanding cousin accompanied me on the trip. After we made it to our destination, my cousin said, give thanks to the grandmothers for our safe passage. I have learned about respecting the grandmothers and grandfathers, the ancestors who have gone on to the spirit world. I have learned that I can pray to them and that they will help guide me just as the creator does. My great grandmother, Peggy Lewis um, Natuas, N-A-T-U-A-S-I-S, -S, I'm trying to say that the best that I can, stands third from the left. So she stands third from the left. So I'm trying to point my finger to her. So that would be her right there um, in the middle. Wow. Third from the left in the uh, turquoise. And then I wanna share the cover story. This land is my land. So this is the cover painting. Okay. When I was a boy, I was taught the song, this land is your land, this land is my land. When I got older, I thought it was very strange to be singing about the ownership of the land. Whose land was this? Did it belong to anyone? The first people in this land were the Indians. We preferred to be called First Nations or First Peoples because this was our homeland first. North America is a very large continent. Add Central America and South America and together they make up the whole Western Hemisphere. This painting reminds us that all this land was once Indian land or land that belonged to the Native Americans. And he says they want to be called First Nations or First Peoples. 
So that is from that story. This is another one I like to share. Um, it has some very great inter, um, illustrations. The Death of the Iron, Ho Iron Horse by Paul Global. I like to share a little bit of that in honor of our Native Americans. Spotted Wolf, Porcupine, Red Wolf, Yellow Bull, Bigfoot, Sleeping Rabbit, Wolf Tooth, and many others whose names are now not remembered, wanted to the, protect the people from the Iron Horse. So here they are on, here's a picture of what they would possibly look like on real horses. So what is an Iron Horse? Hmm, there was a clue on the front cover. They were not much older than boys and knew they would have to be brave, like warriors who had died defending the helpless ones. The soldiers have defeated us and taken everything that we had and made us poor. We have no more time to play games around camp. Let's go and try to turn back this iron horse. And they left camp without telling anyone. So they're trying to stop the iron horse. So let me take you to that page so you can see. This is what they called the iron horse. So the trains came in the land, right? But before the trains could come, they had to build the tracks. So the tracks got built through their lands and then things were taken and put on the iron horse. So they were on their horses trying to defeat the iron horse. So those are just some things that happens in uh, Native American history or the first peoples. Now also, this is a time in modern day uh, times, and if you're here in America, that we should celebrate um, Thanksgiving, which is being thankful. Okay, so we're all here and we have uh, history reasons what that brought us here. So I just wanted to share this uh, story of this little girl um, by uh, David Milligram. Thank you, Thanksgiving. So she says, thank you for sending me, Mom. That's right. That's awesome. Thank you for warm boots. I agree, especially in the snow. And warm coats. Oh, and scarves and mittens. And thank you for music. I also enjoy music. Do you enjoy listening to music and dancing? She does too. Thank you for that. Thank you for pretty clouds. I agree, I like clouds. Thank you for, let's see what else. Thank you for a park to play in. Yeah. Thank you for the store. Sometimes we have to go to the store and get supplies. So thank you for that, right? What else is she thankful for? Let's see. Thank you for my mixer. She's gonna do some cooking. A lot of families or, you know, get together and they make certain foods for their Thanksgiving. Oh, see all the yummy food. She says, thank you for whipped cream topping. She kind of likes that on her pie. And I say thank you for dad. Thank you for mom. Thank you for grandma. Thank you for my brother and sister. Right? So hopefully you're thankful and that you remember the history that, uh, that brought us to America and to this day. And I'll talk to you later.